God, man, sometimes I don't want to do this review, but we're going to do it anyway. Ha! What is good, everybody? Today we're back with another WWE Ultimate Edition review, and it is on the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2024 from WWE and Mattel. The WWE Ultimate Edition WrestleMania 12 Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. Now, this is actually the third iteration of this exact moment replicated by Mattel and WWE, not including Jax. I'm talking about Mattel specifically. We got a basic in the entrance greats line. We got an elite in the WrestleMania elite line. I think that was based on, I think it was the WrestleMania 33 elite. And then now we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which took forever to get here. We've known about this figure forever, but I never got to review it because there were no samples available when the figure dropped. But I do want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for making this review possible, sending us this WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels figure. But I'm excited. I've been waiting on this figure a long time and I really like it. I think it's a pretty solid one. Kind of controversial. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. They felt like they wanted to keep the two packs going and things like that, like we saw last year with Rip and Zeus. But today, man, we do have the front viewing window right here. As you can see, he looks pretty damn good. He's going down the zip line and all the shish. You have the nice WrestleMania WrestleMania 12 logo. At the top over here, I can't get it on camera, but you have the WWE logo, Ultimate Edition. On the side, you have a handsome shot of the boyhood Dream Wonder. You got Shawn Michaels down here in gold, WWE logo. On the back, you get Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid WWE logo, and some other branding. Then on this side, it just says Ultimate Edition. Then on the top, it says Ultimate Edition again. But something that makes this very unique is if you slice the seal and turn it on the side, you can remove this, and now you have another men on card deal. And this looks really sweet. I love the navy and gold with the stars and you know kind of talking about dreams and stuff this is sick packaging i really really dig this packaging a lot another handsome shot of the character on the side of sean michaels you spin it around you have sean michaels on the back here got all the different bio reads got the figure photography the different information all the different stuff on the side you do get sean michaels with the ultimate edition logo this is sick as hell man very very sweet i love all the branding and everything they did a fantastic job here it is a bit thickums compared to normal ultimate edition standards but i love this a lot i think the packaging is great i think they did an outstanding job on it and I, for one, was a huge fan of this Ultimate Edition being revealed. I thought it was cool. I know we had seen it before. Would I have preferred something else? Maybe. But I still think that the execution of it is badass. And we're going to get into everything that we have here, man. So with that being said, let's crack the Heartbreak Kid out of the packaging. Find out what this Shawn Michaels is all about. And compare him to the rest of our Shawn Michaels action figures. Ultimate Editions, to be exact. But with that being said, man, let's crack the sexy boy out of his packaging. So here's the Ultimate Edition WrestleMania 12 San Diego Comic Con exclusive for 2024 out of the packaging with Shawn Michaels and I like this figure a lot man. I think it's got a lot going on. I think they packed a lot into this. I do have my gripes about the figure which we'll get into but I was a real big fan of the fan takeover of Shawn Michaels, the Amazon exclusive. I think that may be the best Shawn Michaels action figure ever made. The red and white one. That one is immaculate. I love that Ultimate Edition. I think it's one of my favorites ever. We're going to compare it to this one. We'll see where it compares. Maybe this one can take the throne. It is a white gear in fact. You guys know how I feel about that but there's some things here that I think they missed, and we'll get into all those different things and break it all down, man. But with that being said, let's dive into the accessories you get with Shawn Michaels, and then we'll dive into the Heartbreak Kid himself. All right, guys, so for Shawn Michaels' accessories, you get a bit going on with it, but one complaint that I have about the figure, how do you not include a championship? I mean, it is the baseline for these Ultimate Edition figures. You get the three interchangeable head sculpts. I guess their way of making up for it is the zip line, but man, I do love the damn zip line. I think that's a really awesome accessory, but how do you leave out the championship? Championship, man. That's crazy. And I guess it's like, oh, this is from when he won it or before he won it. But it it, it has the eyes closed, celebratory, sweaty head skull. So is it from before the matchup? I don't think so. I don't know, man. I just think they missed that opportunity. This was a perfect opportunity for that. But let's get into everything here. Starting off first, we do have the first head sculpt. It's got some schmutz on it there, but I don't like this head sculpt. It doesn't look good to me. I just don't see the likeness. And it looks similar to the fan takeover, one of the fan takeover head sculpts, but it does come with a hole in the back so that you can put the interchangeable ponytails in so I'll get into that in just a moment but we do have another ponytail head sculpt and it's pretty much the same exact head sculpt we've seen twice now we got this on the fan takeover and we got this on his first go around except the hair is sculpted differently but the head sculpt is essentially the exact same it's kind of ridiculous how much it looks exactly the same I really I don't think either of these two is new I think these are reused face sculpts that they sculpted new hair on similar to what we've seen from John Cena and some other characters I think that's what they did there but one thing they have done here is they gave us two different ponytails and we have seen this before with Rob Van Dam. You can plug it in right there. It's got the red hair tie and you kind of have like a resting ponytail right there before you know not going down the zip line and then you have another interchangeable ponytail that is for his coming down the zip line and I'm pretty sure these are the exact same sculpt as the RVD ones. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong I guess but I'm pretty sure this is the exact same sculpt that we saw there but these this head sculpt is nice. It's probably my favorite one and I really wish they included a hair down head sculpt that had the eyes open because we do have this celebratory you know 
accomplishing the boyhood dream eyes closed head sculpt, which I think is awesome. This is the second time they've ever done a closed eyes head sculpt. If my memory serves me correctly, we added in the Hulk Hogan Rings exclusive Mega Powers 2 pack with Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. And now we have this closed eyes head sculpt, which looks really good. I think the wrinkles and the subtleness is good. The hair looks pretty good too. Uneven on both sides. So it's really in the moment. But I do wish that they had a hair down open eyes head sculpt because I feel like we kind of, we don't really have a lot of resting Shawn Michaels head sculpts that look very good. Especially post-match sweaty head sculpt. But I think this looks really good. I think they did a good job here. Now one of the other really cool accessories is the zip line from his entrance at this Mania. And it does come with this string here so I guess you could use that. But one thing that's really amazing about this is they make it replaceable because you can pull this apart and there's a seam right here in the middle where you can run a string across the middle here and then when you clasp it together then he will have this to hang on. You can put that on any cord you want. I mean I don't know about any cord you want but as long as it'll fit in there and you can close it and clasp it together it would hang on there. You know like a bungee cord or whatever. That would be really nice but what's really cool is all the sculpted details you have in here on here. You got some like tapes and straps and stuff and then you have kind of just some really cool paint detail and sculpts and the handle coming down right there where you can hold on. A very cool accessory. I think it's awesome and I'll probably hold on to this even though I'm going to replace it because it's not quite long enough. But if you want to, you can stretch this out across the display and then tape it on either end so it's, you know, keep it nice and tight and then hang that on there and it should be able to hang the figure. But when we get into figure photography, I'll try my best to string it up and try to make this work so you guys can kind of see how it operates. But this is a very, very cool accessory and something I'm glad they included and it really gives some specialty to it, especially being a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Now outside of that, he also has entrance gear here with some silver and white and later in the video we'll do a Wrestlemania 12 figure comparison but the last time we saw this it was in cloth and it was a full bodysuit that we got from Mattel and on this one it doesn't have anything like that but you do if you wanted to put this on the figure you would take or so right here and you would unclasp it and you'd have to take the arms off obviously it makes it a lot easier and you would slide this slide this up in here slide this through here I could be putting this on wrong but you slide that through there so that it fits the chest like that and then you would wrap this around and port this on then after you do that this is what you're left with and then you have these sculpted arms right here and it does come with two pairs of interchangeable arms the first pair is the entrance gear and it has these like shackles and stuff you know you have the silver details and the sculpt work going down the sleeves it does actually have pins in there which is crazy but the underside has the white and it's got the you know the gloves in there the hand taped hands plugged in there but double jointed they look good they feel good and you do get these of course as your entrance gear arms we haven't seen the entrance gear pair I mean we get it but I feel like it's not as often as we used to back in the day maybe but you can take this you plug this in here and you can have your entrance gear and then you just put a you know a head sculpt on there and one thing that's weird about this is I do understand having the white sleeves underneath and then having this completely see-through I think there was mesh in here or there may have been nothing but it just looks weird because of the way it's done because you have the white shoulders and it just goes into that empty body so it does look a little weird but I don't think it's the biggest deal especially if you were to put the pants on but then you have the other interchangeable arms if you want them to be in the wrestling gear and that would just be your regular bear Shawn Michaels arms which I think they could make bigger arms than this he was pretty damn jack man this is kind of your standard arm mold that they use for Finn Balor they use these for Seth Rollins and stuff but I think these arms are a bit small I think that Johnny Gargano arm mold from Elite 105 would work better for you know the Seth Rollins and the Shawn Michaels of the world but they're very similar to this but they have like some extra cuts in there that I think could add to it but I don't know it's not bad I guess but I I don't know it, it does look, make the arms look a bit skinny especially when you compare it to torso and then the last accessory that we have here besides interchangeable hands is the pants and you do have the belt loop right there I think this goes on the back though so this would wrap around the front and then on the back you would or maybe this is the front maybe it clasps on the front because you do have kind of a belt buckle design on there but it is a little bit different the patterns are different it has white and gold and silver all throughout here it's kind of that fake you know stretchy style elastic I don't even know what you call that what is that even called it's not necessarily a cloth it's like a faux leather but it's not even faux leather it's just like this plastic material it's almost like a damn picnic table you know the you know the tablecloths that you buy for Thanksgiving that are really thin and cheap and you can poke holes in them and they it's just like a cheap tablecloth that you throw over the table Thanksgiving that's what it's kind of like a tablecloth like plastic tablecloth material I guess you could call it but these look good you know they fit the figure well and everything like that we'll see it better when we get into the photography but yeah you just slide these over the legs and it gives it the the look that you need there and I know a lot of people are maybe upset that it comes with like cloth goods down here and then sculpted up top but I don't hate it I think it works well when you put them all together and then outside of that you do get mic holding hands with the white hand tape or the, you know, the gloved hands or whatever you want to say there. He also comes with the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard Johnny Gargano handshaking style hands. And last but not least, he does come with fists to beat the hell out of people. So getting into Shawn Michaels, man, starting off 
the head sculpt. I did put the post-match head sculpt on there because that kind of relates the most to the wrestling gear itself, in my opinion. But we do have the same torso they always use. I don't mind this torso for Sean. I feel like a lot of people kind of drag it, but I do like that they added the chest and stomach hair, which I really, really like. I do, again, wish that they had a head sculpt that didn't have the eyes closed. I just think it adds to it. But if I were making some sort of Shawn Michaels display, I either am going to have this figure on the zip line or I'm going to have him holding the title sitting on his butt. You know what I mean? I think that would be the best way to do so. I do wish, I think that it would add a lot to this figure if you had the striated shoulders and then a little bit bigger arms. I think that would really throw it over the top. I promise you it would. I swear it would. It would really, really add to the figure if you gave him the striated shoulders. And maybe if they just made a smaller version of the striated shoulders, like maybe not the same size as your Bobby Lashley's, but maybe they could experiment with something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Like, uh, I don't know. There's a Jim the Anvil over here. I, I don't know. I'm trying to see if I have, I don't know if I have quite the figure right here, but I just think it, it could add to it. But you do have the tattoo here. You got the white and gold and silver attire, which looks really good. I wish this could shimmer and stuff because it did have, you know, shimmery stuff going on or iridescent going on, but this is still very sick. I do kind of wish that they would give him bigger thighs and stuff, but I don't think it's bad. I think it, overall it does look really, really clean and good. And then you do have the heartbreak kit on the back, which looks super clean. I love that. He had some of the most underrated gears you'll see. And then we do have the knee pads on the figure, which I like with the black backing, which is also something we've never seen out of this attire and figure form. And then he does have the, the kick pad legs, which are not accurate. They're kind of dirt bike boots or whatever, which I would love to see changed, but it does kind of capture the aesthetic for it. Now for this figure here, we're going to get into the articulation. And I will say that this figure's head sculpt, if you push it all the way on, it looks like he has no neck. So I have been pulling it up just slightly. I've been doing that on a few figures now because it just adds to the figure, makes it look better. But uh, I mean, I don't know. The build is a little weird, but I still like this figure a lot. You get a great kick forward here and he has the drop down hips so he can do, you know, all the things that Shawn Michaels does. You know, you can get that, that sweet chin music in here, which is always great. And I had no issues posing the figure around. I've had a lot of fun with it. You know, it is an ultimate, so it is a bit wonky sometimes trying to get those those poses with those drop down legs, I will say. But everything else, man, good diaphragm here. Head sculpt popped off a little bit. Good, you know, butterfly joint. We've seen this articulation before, so it's not the biggest deal. You get a really good reach back there. Double jointed arm there. Bicep swivel. Hinge and rotation at the wrist. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knee. He is not pinless, so it feels buttery smooth. And then you do get the kick pad rotation. And the ankle rocker is not the best I've found. And I found that the left one is a little bit more stiff because he doesn't have the new ankles yet, but he does have the, you know, up and down and the toe articulation pivot. So any poses you want to get out of the Shawn Michaels, I don't think you're going to have any issues with it, but you never know, man. You never know. But I really, really dig this Shawn Michaels, even if, you know, the drop down hips, the drop down hips are just, I have a love hate relationship with those, man. I have a love hate relationship. They allow for better posability at certain angles. And I just wish that they were tighter, but I really dig the Shawn. I'm liking it, but I want to put his entrance gear on so we can get some comparisons. So for your WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels WWE Mattel figure comparison. Here we have the WrestleMania 33 WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels Elite. We have the, of course, Ultimate Edition San Diego Comic Con in the exclusive in the middle. And then we do have the Entrance Greats Basic on the right. Now, I did take one of these interchangeable head sculpts and I did put it over here because this original head sculpt is over here on this Elite because I took that Elite head sculpt off and did something with it. I'm not entirely sure. So, and I'm pretty sure the original knee pads on this figure are now on this figure because something happened to these knee pads or maybe they didn't even come with knee pads. I can't remember off the top of the dome. So lots to unpack here, but I would say easily this one is the best. I mean, it is cool to see the, you know, the bodysuit here because the bodysuit is very quality on here and you can like Velcro the back and stuff. And I guess if you have both, you may be able to put this onto this full figure right here. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe something you want to look into, but I would say that there are legit differences between these two. You can look on the pants and see all the different designs here. I'm sure the, the Ultimate Edition, the updated version is a lot better, but it's certainly worth noting. And it's kind of crazy. I don't think we've, I'm, I'm trying to th think off the top of the head. I mean, I guess you have seen some figures go from basic elite and ultimate because they do that with standard figures, right? Like we have a Brock Lesnar that looks the exact same in basic form. And then we have an elite version and then we have an ultimate version. We have that with John Cena in certain gears, I'm sure. We have that in certain, you know, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Like it exists. It definitely exists. But I'm trying to think of a memory where we've seen the exact gear. Like I, I know I'm saying exact gear like I just stated that we've seen it before. But I meant like a special moment like this. Like WrestleMania 12 Shawn Michaels was made for a specific entrance where it's basic because of his entrance. We had it in elite form because that is an upgrade from the basic and you could possibly put this bodysuit on here and it's exclusive to a pay-per-view elite line. And now it's for a Comic-Con exclusive. I don't think we've ever really seen that full-fledged from Mattel. So I think that's pretty interesting. That makes this set and this figure very, very intriguing and interesting that they would do that for Shawn Michaels. But it is a pretty cool comparison to see all three of them dressed up here and kind of 
kind of uh, make your, yeah, I don't know. It's cool to have all three of them to kind of get the comparison here in the video. So for your Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition figure comparisons, we do have the three Shawn Michaels Ultimates we have to date. And we do have a Legends Target exclusive coming soon that will be a modern, more, uh, not modern, but a more modern Shawn in the long pants DX look, obviously. So this one is a bit different here as we have tight Shawn Michaels, which I always love. I love tight Shawn Michaels, man. I, I love Shawn Michaels. He's amazing. I'm always Team Shawn over Team Brett. Have a conniption down in the comment section below, but it is cool to get all three of these. You know, these use a more updated torso compared to this one, but this was still a fun figure when it first released. I felt that it was a little skinny because he's always been pretty broad, and I hate the AJ Styles, HBK, Daniel Bryan torso they give all of his elites, and this kind of has that same shape, but it is cool to see these, and if I had to rank all three of these from worst to best, I would go three, two, one. I like this one, I think, the most. I just like the gear the most. I like the head sculpts and everything. I like this one a hell of a lot. Even though this one is damn sick, I just think I prefer the fan takeover over this ultimate here, but this one is still damn good, and it's fun to compare, man. I just think it looks really awesome. It's a great figure overall. I'm happy with this figure. But at the end of the day, I think that about wraps up our WrestleMania 12 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2024 with WWE and Mattel with the WWE Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels figure. At the end of the day, I love this figure. I think it's fantastic. I've enjoyed a lot of it. I don't think it's a perfect figure. Really wish they could have included a championship, obviously, with this entire matchup. It just makes the most sense, but I think this is the best version that we've seen of this figure, given the Elite and the Basics history with the entrance greats and the WrestleMania 33, WrestleMania 12 Elite Shawn Michaels. I think those figures have, you know, been around forever, and this is kind of the ultimate prize, the ultimate version, quote-unquote, pun intended, best version of this guy and everything. I really wish there was a hair down. I wish there was a hair down head sculpt that had his eyes open and stuff, but I don't think it's a complete deal breaker, but I would have liked to seen that. That would have been really awesome to see, but I still like it. I like the emotional expression and everything like that. I really think this captures WrestleMania 12 beautifully. I like the packaging. I like everything here. I would like to see like a new boot mold instead of the same kick pad mold we've seen for Shawn Michaels because he didn't wear kick pads. It just wasn't the thing, but I think it does kind of capture the look of the boots. It's just, I think that it's time for an actual sculpted boot like we've seen from Shawn Michaels that I would like to see, but a figure that was a ton of fun to shoot, a figure that has a lot of great details packed in to it, and I really like the execution of the zip line. I know a lot, some people may have issues with it being like a molded top with cloth pants and stuff, but I don't think it's the biggest deal, especially when you dress the figure up completely, because I think it hides well. It looks very good, and I think just the whole overall execution was fantastic. They did a fantastic job, and again, the zip line is so damn cool. I think it's such a unique piece, and that's kind of what I think throws it over the top for San Diego Comic-Con. And I know people were saying, oh, it's you know, it's Shawn Michaels who we get a lot. It's not a one-off character or some sort of celebrity, you know, mixed in with pop culture. There's this, that, and the other. I understand your critiques and criticisms of that, but this Shawn Michaels figure is top-notch, and if anything, it's Shawn freaking Michaels, man. I don't know really what you want to say. I do wish that this would ship out. I'm sure that us getting this figure in from Mattel means that we're going to be seeing these shipping sometime soon, because I know the pre-order's been up for a while. I have two that are still on the way, because I like this figure so much, and I wanted to have one men on card and a loose one, and I'm excited to now have this figure in hand, pose it around, get to review it, and again, I want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for making this video possible and letting me review this figure for you guys. So hopefully you did enjoy it. I'd love to know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. But I think it was a W for a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Good stuff right there. And nonetheless, man, that's pretty much going to wrap the review. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Love to know your thoughts on this down in the comment section below, of course. And a huge shout out to the Patreon members, man. I think that you guys are absolutely amazing and I appreciate your support so very much, man. It's unbelievable the amount of support that anybody shows, especially the patrons. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you guys later.